Thanks for staying with us. In four months, we'll be electing new officials for our local school board, and voters need to decide what success looks like. Mary, what kind of traits should we be looking for electing our new school officials? I want someone who will empower parents, who will be involved with parents. I want someone who is obviously going to have uh, our children's best interest at the forefront of the decisions that they make. And because I'm someone who kind of tends to uh, favor a school choice approach, that's why I think that I'd like to have someone who will empower parents and involve them. Because I think I don't have any children of my own, but just from what I hear from parents, I teach dance, so I talk with some parents who have kids in Washington County Public Schools. I feel like there's a disconnect sometimes, particularly with younger kids, with what's going on in the school and what's going on with the parents. And I know that there's a responsibility there with teachers to communicate, but I think that having a school board um, that is involved in the community, that is someone that you can just approach and ask a question to, that's the kind of candidate that I want, someone who's approachable uh, and, and who will involve parents as much as possible. And I would argue we have a couple of those right now. I would also argue that the world is run by those who show up, and it is, in my opinion, incumbent upon the parents to reach out and it's be true. a part of the communication process as well. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can, you know, the, the teachers have 30 kids that they need to, to be concerned about, mm -hmm. or 20 or however many is in a classroom. Um, but uh, I, I think that it's incumbent upon the parents. From my perspective, I want a mix of skills. I mm. don't have any problem with having one or two former teachers, former administrators right. on the on the school board. I have a big problem with having seven of them. Mm -hmm. I have no problem having um, competent business people <coughs> on the board of education. I have a big problem equally having seven of them. So I want a mix of skills. I also want to make sure that whoever we is elected is not a one-trick pony mm. because there are people running in this current race who in my opinion have one thing that they want to do whether that's get rid of Dr. Wilcox or um, or you know or get pay raises or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be whatever their pet peeve is they want to fix they want to right the wrong that they have feel felt for however many years they spent in service to the, the public schools and I don't think we have any room for this. We need a, mm -mm. We need a much more rounded personality. It, you know, when we look at some of the discussions with our current sitting board, a lot of the votes wind up 4-3. And I don't think it's even a close 4-3. I think three individuals are right here and three individuals or four individuals are right there. Mm -hmm. I, it's very polarized. It, it's very polarized and disconnected. Mm -hmm. Now, the school board truly has one employee, and that's Dr. Wilcox. They, they don't have interaction with the teachers, though the teachers can certainly come to them. They don't have interaction with other WCPS employees, though they can certainly come to them. The person that they guide and direct is Dr. Wilcox. Mm -hmm. So they need to come up with ideas. I agree with you. We need to have diversity on our school board. We need people who have sound business minds and can understand a P&L. We need individuals who have been in the trenches and worked as teachers and administrators in schools mm -hmm. to understand what is going on within the school system itself. And I think too, I want someone who understands the community that they're serving. What, what are the needs? What are, you know, what makes Hagerstown and Washington County tick? What are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? Someone who has really given that a lot of thought and who's ready to attack those and, and specific who has ideas. And to everyone. You know, mm -hmm. whether, whether you agree, and I'm going to bring up a county commissioner by name, but whether you agree with Jeff Klein mm -hmm. or disagree with Jeff Klein, there is no argument that that guy is out there every mm -hmm. day Absolutely. listening to every one of his constituents that will talk mm -hmm. to him. And I can call his cell phone at any time of the day and night, and I guarantee you, 90% of the time, he'll answer it. Mm -hmm. And it's not because it's me calling, it's because he answers his phone and he listens to right. people. Right, I, I completely agree. And it, just another example of someone who I have known for years and who has just been such a strong supporter, not just of the arts, but just public school in general, is, is Mr. Ridenauer, Wayne mm -hmm. Ridenauer. Mm -hmm. And he, he is also someone who I see everywhere. He's at all you know the musicals for all the high schools and he's at the community events and he's just so approachable just like Jeff Klein and 
Um, you're right. It doesn't matter if you agree with them or not, but I know that those people have our best interests in mind. I trust well, them. You know, most important thing I think we need to have is someone who's willing to listen, mm -hmm. okay, and approaches things with an open mind. Mm -hmm. If we go in there and we, we're, we're narrow focus as my agenda is what I'm going to kind steer through. The tunnel through. vision. The yeah. tunnel vision and well, you know, when I was doing this, uh, this is the way it needs to happen today. Or because I was aggrieved back five years ago, I'm going to make my right what went wrong. Right. So the, those, you know, I, I think we need the diversity there. We have a, a good slate of candidates. Some I would, I already know how I'm voting, but you know, some of them are strong, some of them not so strong, but. I would also like, to, I'd like to see more diversity in terms of, of ethnicity mm -hmm. um, and frankly, religious backgrounds. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, we, um, the, we uh, I, I attended a, 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 uh, an event um, a couple of months ago and there was a Muslim woman there, woman there and hey, good for her, mm -hmm. you know what? And I think I would love to see more diversity from a religious perspective. I know religion and schools don't mix. But there is a perspective there that I think is important. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. Well, Jim, on that thought, we're going to wrap up. Okay. Up next, Fast Five. Stay tuned. <laughs>